Hi everyone, Petal is blessed here. I'm coming on today to share with you guys part two of my fun Mother's Day centerpiece series. Yeah. <laughs> okay, today I have another idea and I'm going to call this one my chic and shabby Mother's Day centerpiece arrangement. Yeah, so let's get into the things that we'll need. Okay, I got this um wood box from my craft store which I think it's super cute. It's a neat idea to put our flower arrangement in. And I got these candlelight holders from Dollarama, which they're cute. I saw them in there, so I picked them up. I thought it would be a nice to go with my centerpiece idea. And I got some candles. And I got the bling wrap. Yeah, 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 I got it. My Dollar Tree finally got some in. So I got the little bling wrap. And we have some white paint that we're going to paint the box with. And I have some glitter and the Mod Podge. Got the fine glitter. And I got some brushes to paint with. Foam brushes. Or sponge brushes. And I got these flowers. That we're gonna have used for our arrangements today. And we have our glue gun. And our scissors and our shears to cut the flowers. And this is the foam that we'll be using to place inside the box to hold our flowers today. All right, everyone, let's get started. All right, everyone, we're gonna start by painting our box all white. All right, everyone, our box is all painted and dried. So now we're gonna add the Mod Podge to add the glitter. And we're just gonna place the Mod Podge in the corners and add our glitter all around to the four corners. And next we're going to do our candles. I'm going to cut three by three squares and just place them all around the candle in a diamond shape. And here's the finished look. Now we're just going to add some Mod Podge to the sides of our foam. And we're going to add some glitter. And you'll see why I'm doing this in a moment. Okay, I placed the foam into the box, and as you know, the box has the lines in between, and you can see the glitter through the box instead of seeing a white foam. Now we're just going to start to add our flowers. So we're going to measure the flowers and cut them, and then we're going to place them into our arrangement. No, he don't recognize. No, he don't recognize. No, he don't know. He don't know. He don't know. He don't recognize you. And 
And here is our finished look. My chic and shabby Mother's Day center fleece arrangement. I just love how the flowers look with the lavender and the white. I think it looks so nice. And here are candles with a little diamond bling going all around to add a little added touch. As you can see, you can see the glitter shining through. It's not showing very good on the camera, but it shows very nice in person. So as your centerpiece is on the table, it just adds a little added touch. Instead of seeing a white foam through the box. Alright everyone, I hope I gave you another inspiring idea for a Mother's Day centerpiece. And thank you so much for coming on and seeing what I came up with today in my second part series of my Mother's Day fun centerpiece ideas. Alright everyone, remember as always, stay blessed from Petal is Blessed. Bye bye everyone. Wave it, baby.